scientists turned light into a super solid. Imagine this. Taking something as intangible as light, something that slips through your fingers that we can't touch or hold, and turning it into something that behaves like solid matter. Not just any matter, but a bizarre new state called a super solid. It flows without friction, but it holds a rigid structure, like a crystal. It's like turning sunlight into a sculpture that can move all by itself. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. In a groundbreaking experiment, scientists have transformed laser light into a super solid. And the way they did it? Pure quantum genius. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll never look at light the same way again. What is a super solid? First, let's break down the word itself, super solid. It's a state of matter that combines two things that shouldn't go together. A superfluid, something that flows forever, with no resistance, like a river, that never stops or slows down. And a solid, something stiff and structured, like ice or crystal. In a super solid, those two behaviors coexist. It's like having jello that flows through a straw, but keeps its perfect cube shape. It's not supposed to be possible. But quantum physics doesn't care about what seems normal to us. What did scientists do with laser light? Now here's where it gets crazy. A team of scientists took laser light, just pure photons, and gave it properties we've only ever seen in solid matter. Here's how they pulled it off. They used an optical cavity, basically a space between two mirrors where light can bounce back and forth. They introduced ultra-cold atoms into the mix, cooled down to just a tiny fraction above absolute zero. These atoms and photons began to interact in a weird quantum dance. The photons started arranging themselves into a repeating pattern, like a crystal made of light. But even though this light crystal had structure, it could still flow freely, without any friction. That's it. They made light behave like a super solid. Let that sink in for a second. Why is this a big deal? Now you might be wondering, so what? That's cool, but why does it matter? Well, for starters, this was once thought to be impossible. Light has no mass, it doesn't normally form structures, and it doesn't usually interact with itself. Give it a like to support the channel, and tell me in the comments, what do you think about light turning into matter? Do you believe we're just scratching the surface of what's possible? It also opens doors to understanding more about quantum phases of matter, designing ultra-sensitive quantum sensors, building new platforms for quantum simulation and computing. This isn't just a cool trick. This is a new frontier in the way we control the building blocks of reality. So, is this useful or just weird? Let's be honest. A lot of quantum physics sounds weird. And right now, this experiment is more about discovery than immediate application. We're learning the rules of nature, not just to use them, but to understand them. But think of it this way. Just 100 years ago, people laughed at the idea of lasers or quantum tunneling. Now, they power your phone, your internet, your MRI scans. That's the path science takes. So today's weird could be tomorrow's revolution. What amazes me most is this. We took light, something that feels so untouchable, and gave it the behavior of something real, rigid, tangible. It's a reminder that reality is so much stranger and more beautiful than we think. And maybe, just maybe, the universe still has secrets waiting to be lit up by science. If this video blew your mind even a little, hit subscribe for more incredible science explained simply. Give it a like to support the channel, and tell me in the comments, what do you think about light turning into matter? Do you believe we're just scratching the surface of what's possible? Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay amazed, and I'll see you in the next video.